Hello, here's another video on programming an electric scooter. This time it's the um, a 10, 10 parameter setting, uh, typical of the Chinese scooters, the T100 series. So without further ado, let's jump right in and program this scooter and show you the parameters that you can change and what they do. As usual, you hit the standby and mode button to enter the program, P0, uh, wheel size diameter. Uh, this will calibrate the speedometer. Um, on this occasion it's set to 10, uh, as in 10 inches, and that seems to calibrate very well against GPS signal, uh, although it's a 11 or 12 inch scooter, um, usually it's set to 10. As you can see it times out very quickly, so I have to be quick, but it does revert to the setting you were changing, so that's good. P1, load voltage is cut off um, on this scooter, it goes between 12 to 56 volts uh, as a uh, adjustment parameter. I said 52 volts that protects the battery uh, against uh, low voltage damage. Although the battery does have its own BMS, uh, I think the internal battery BMS will override this, but nevertheless, to be safe, set it to something about 8 to 10 volts lower than your battery voltage. P2 motor pole pairs um, on this scooter 0 to 99, I set to 15. And if you mess around with this setting, um, the consequences could be quite serious, uh, could damage the motors because um, you're playing around with the Hall's, Hall effect sensor circuitry and you really don't want to uh, play around with it too much. So 15 on a scooter, it might be 12, it might be whatever it is, 18, but there you go. P3, um, this is one I don't know. Uh, it seems to turn off, so the, it's, it, it probably has something to do with the display timeout to, uh, period. So, if you bear with me, I'll just nip back into the settings. P4, uh, kilometers per hour or miles an hour, 0 or 1. I'll set it to miles an hour because I'm in the UK. 5, P5 is kickstart, 0 or 1. So, if you have it to one, it means you've got to push a scooter up to about two miles an hour uh, before the throttle will engage. Um, I'll put it to zero because you want instant power. P6 cruise control. Um, if you hold the throttle for about five seconds uh, above around 15 miles an hour, you can take your hand off the throttle and smoke a cigarette as you're riding. and um, and then as soon as you hit the brake, the um, cruise control will switch off. P7, power start zero or one. I've set to zero. Now on one, it'll be a very violent start. You're gonna shred your tires. If that's what you wanna do, if you wanna do drag racing, then by all means set it to one. I set to zero for a, a nice gentle acceleration. Still fast, but gentler than one. P8 power level setting, um, it's defaulted to 100, it goes between 1 and 100. 100 means the power is not dialed back at all, full power. P9 regenerative braking, uh, 0, 1 or 2. 0 is no regenerative braking, just the pads alone. 1 is mild um, regenerative braking, so the magnets and the motor will pull you back. Two is uh, more severe uh, uh, braking and will grind you to halt very quickly with hardly any use of the pads at all. The advantage of that, of course, is you save brake pad wear and also it will trickle, tr trickle charge the uh, battery. Now I said for one to get a, the best of both worlds. Oh, one other thing I haven't shown you perhaps is changing the gears, the electronic gears here. Um, you hit the mode, the power, or hit, hit, hit the standby, then the mode. So you've got first speed, second speed, third speed, and um, the other thing is uh, when you toggle through the display, you'll see the various odometer, trip meter things. What I'd like to do um, typically is to leave it on the uh, voltage display uh, here at 66.6 .6 because the bar graph here is not terribly accurate. This gives a far more accurate reading as a, um, what voltage you have left and therefore what range you might have left. Oh, thanks for watching. Any questions, please do ask. Thanks.